The traditional approach to software licensing offers good value for departments in which users perform a given set of tasks to solve recurring issues. Typically, a platform is complemented with one or a few applications that cover static functionalities. To deal with the challenges of a rapidly changing development environment, we are introducing value-based licensing. This alternative approach facilitates the discovery of new applications and increases flexibility when it comes to capacity planning for multiple users. Depending on the specific situation, a mix and match of the traditional way of licensing and value-based licensing should be tailored to find the optimal balance. Let's have a look at how value-based licensing exactly works. Starting from the required desktop module, it offers a fully flexible environment in which users can explore different functionalities. Companies acquire a set of tokens which allow the running of a wide array of applications, each covering a specific need. Based upon the value of a certain individual application, it consumes less or more tokens when active. Whenever not in use, the corresponding tokens become available again to run other applications. Users can swap between applications on the fly and explore new ways of working at will. The story becomes even more interesting when combining two users, each with their own desktop and set of tokens. Just imagine that a worker is confronted with the maximum token limit. By having a joint token pool, the limitation is automatically lifted, as he or she is able to claim unused tokens from a colleague. In this context, it's also perfectly possible for users to use the same application simultaneously, as long as the token maximum is not reached. Now, just imagine the possibilities of a corporate setup. In many cases, the total investment is smaller compared to acquiring isolated licenses, yet the flexibility dramatically increases, regardless of whether the modules are used daily or occasionally. By combining all tokens, this approach also effectively deals with peak workload requirements. Another typical corporate pain is a shift in focus over time to use a certain application to address certain issues, leaving the old way of working for what it was. Without value-based licensing, this could lead to idling licenses, whereas now the tokens can seamlessly be applied to support the new methodology. Last but not least, most new product features and functionalities automatically become available to all users so that they can check out the extra value they bring without any budget increase. In short, value-based licensing offers a truly flexible, cost-effective, simple-to-scale approach that reduces risk over time and encourages users to maximally explore new possibilities. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website for more detailed information.